Because that's like one of the hardest things uh, to fucking do here. Like it's easy to do at home, but like it's hard to like brush your teeth and like go to work and just like every fucking day. <laughs> Take a shower. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it sounds sick, but like, yeah, it's kind of nasty. <laughs> That's the reality. And when we're going to start working the 18 hour days, and I'll, you only have like four less hours. And less every day. Yeah, you only have four hours of sleep. I'm not wasting that shit on taking a shower. <laughs> Especially when all the motherfuckers around here are going to be smelling like fists all day. Yeah. And it was like, uh, At that point, you're like, oh, I just got to yeah. I gotta sleep, man. I'm tired. Yeah. Hold all on. Right, what's your name? Oh, fuck, man. I fucked up. That was a good intro moment. Fuck, dude. Yeah. My fucking nose was. I had to, like, blow my nose. Oh, but. <laughs> <laughs> Go to bed. Hang on. Run it back. <clears throat> Got three. One, two, three. All right, so what's your name? Aloha. My name is Shane Kahoi Kapu. I'm from Hawaii. Uh, been here for a month and a week now. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's like time goes by fast, man. <laughs> yeah, right? It also yeah. feels like a year, but it, it kind of feels mm-hmm. like a week or a couple of days. Yeah. I feel like people are like finally starting to give us respect because we're not like, we're not going to Valdez. That's, that, that, that was our plan. We were supposed to come here. Mm-hmm. They were supposed to like go to Valdez, or I hear it's nicer to be honest. But like, um, I don't want to go on a plane again. <laughs> yeah, the perks yeah. of Valdez is they say that they have free Wi-Fi over here. If you don't know, you gotta pay for Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. Valdez, it's free, and then there's like you can also leave the campus. There's like Walmart. Mm-hmm. There's well, that's because of COVID too. COVID, yeah. yeah. So COVID so, restricts like... you from leaving this area. But there's not much going on here at King Cove anyways. It's not like there's like no. a fucking shopping market. There's or a Chinese restaurant. There's like one Chinese <laughs> restaurant. You can call them, order yeah. the food, and then they'll bring it to you, deliver. Um, there's a liquor store I heard, but you, you can't go to it. Yeah. But you like, order if, liquor if you here. go to it, they'll they'll call up Peter Pan and be like, hey, your employees have came to us again. Yeah. I guess they really hate us. <laughs> or something. I don't know. Um <laughs> Yo, today we're going to talk about what to bring to King Cove. Because uh, if you're one of the 50 people who saw the last video, I took that shit down. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we kind of analyzed it and we was like, like you know, yo, it, we, uh, it was kind of drunk. <laughs> 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 Ain't got a lot to you, bro. It, it, was, it wasn't it. Oh, so we'll, we'll make a little better video, more. Yeah. More informational type of video. Informational, yeah. That's where this song will be. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, All right, uh, let's start off with, uh, I'm going to start first. Yeah. I, I wish I would have brought like a, a Gaddon water bottle. Mm, like a flask like, or a Gaddon water No, bottle. not a flask. A flask is fucking tiny. You need a Gaddon water that bottle. big flask. You need, yeah, here's a big flask. Yeah, I got one. It's like 64 ounces. Oh, I didn't know. I know. I, I always you thought, thought it was that little skinny one. Like yeah, that. like the one that you keep right here so you can like... Oh, a fucking! That's where you put the alcohol in that bitch. Yeah, that's why I thought you meant like by a flash. <laughs> that, that is a flash. Yeah, yeah, it's a but, type um, of flash. Because uh, here, in order to get food or water, you have to walk outside your uh, dorms, mm-hmm. and that walk is like it's like a five to ten minute walk, depending on where you are. And the wind, the wind blows so damn hard. <laughs> <laughs> like I weigh one hundred and fifty. I weigh two fifty. I've lost a few cups of water. <laughs> <laughs> On my walks. I weigh two fifty and the wind can blow me back. Yeah, I do, like, yeah. I yeah. weigh one forty fucking sometimes I feel like I'm like Michael Jackson <laughs> yeah. in the wind. <laughs> you can like jump and fly. <laughs> <laughs> Get a fucking plastic bag in Fortnite this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Coming in. Um so like you don't always want to like walk and leave your room. Uh, especially when it's like snowing, windy, rainy. Like there's a lot of fucking weather here. Um so bring like a a water bottle because you definitely need that mm-hmm. um oh yeah well we go punch for punch yeah that's yeah, a good punch idea punch. okay cool so one thing that i think you should bring is uh a lock so like get a master lock and then get one of the smaller locks so the reason for this is uh in your room you can lock your stuff up in your closet your important stuff that you know you don't want anybody to like touch anything but not that anybody does but for peace of mind and safety, I always do that. I just lock my shit up. It's only me in my room. I still lock my shit up. So, the you know, you get a mask lock for that. And if you don't have a lock, you can lock the important stuff up in your suitcase. And that's why you have the smaller lock where you lock your two zippers together. And yeah, and I want to say this, one. like here, we have like a cookhouse where uh, you can like, you know, cook pizza and stuff if you don't want to eat like at the cafeteria. Mm-hmm. They have lockers in there. 
And like you can order all your if you're staying here for like a very long time, if you're only here for like two or three months, don't do it. But if you're here for like the long haul, trying to make this a career, buy as many cooking shit as you can <laughs> and like put them in the locker. As soon as you find a locker, and put a lock on that. Because mm-hmm. um the cookhouse is busy. Uh, you wouldn't expect it to be that busy, but it's like always full. Those people cooking. Yeah, and I'm kind of mad about that. I, I thought I was going to have like a whole room to myself because you know no one's trying to be you. Chef Ramsay in that bitch. I, so. I fucking am. <laughs> <laughs> if you look at my, I'll, I'll put some pictures on my new Instagram. My Instagram's Aries Travel. Um, I'll, I'll put it in the video. What's your Instagram again? Shane underscore yeah. Easy. So block timestamp. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So another thing that's I think very important to bring. So I don't know if you probably heard in a previous video if you watched it is uh, Wi-Fi costs money so bring like a usb and a usb to adapter to your phone or a computer or just a sd card in your phone with downloaded movies downloaded games downloaded tv shows to keep yourself busy in your free time because yeah. if you stream it it'll cost a lot of money if you end up streaming that paying for your wi-fi if you pay anything less than 30 dollars, you're going to lose that wi-fi in a day if you watch YouTube or Insta or you Instagram, Facebook, mm-hmm. that that'll go yeah. by quick. Uh, yeah. and like I, I remember, like we were sitting at the hotel and like I was watching YouTube, and like we had free Wi Fi, and like oh, it, I was chilling, it, bro. It never occurred to me to download shit, <laughs> right? No, if I would have known, <laughs> shit, if I, nobody told me this. Yeah. So um, if you're watching this as we're about to come and you're in that hotel room, uh, stay up all night and download because you're not going to work your first day. But like, download shit, download movies. Or you could do it at home before you go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Download movies, songs. Oh, songs. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Songs. Um, Add that to the list. Definitely audio have books. music. Audio books. Audio books is good. Yeah. So while you're working, you, you might listen. Yeah. I'm mean, uh, not really supposed to. Great area. Yeah. But, you know, get like wireless headphones if you can. Mm. Head, uh, like Power Beats or like, yeah. uh, what's Apple? Apple Pods. He works in, you work in maintenance stuff, so that's kind of different. Um, do they let you listen to music there? In maintenance? Oh, we have a radio playing. Oh, okay. Yeah. I know, like, some places you can, like, listen to music. Yeah, yeah, there's certain areas. But, like, on the some... floor, you can't. You know, yeah, there's certain to. areas where you got to be aware and you yeah. got to, like, be plugged in, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, just... Uh... Oh, you had something good. Oh, yeah, say. yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Bring... You don't really think about this, but, like, bring rain gear. Because, like, the first thing we said was, like, the weather here changes all damn time. Bring rain gear, like rain gear and wind gear, wind guards, whatever the fuck they call it. I don't know like what a real it. waterproof jacket. Make sure it's yeah. waterproof. Like not that you can get a windbreaker, like the thin ones, but if it's like pouring, pouring, it'll bleed right through. Like make sure you get a thick rain jacket. Not even like if it's raining even lightly and like the wind's coming, that shit goes everywhere. Yeah. Like your butt crack's going to be... <laughs> <laughs> if you have like thing. regular material clothes like the water will just bleed right through i mean it's kind of like common sense but you don't think about this because i mean i didn't bring no, a, a yeah. raincoat like a legit one i have to get one here because when you come so, to a, a, like alaska you just think oh it's either going to be like really dry or snowing like yeah. you never think oh it rains it's gonna be here. wet yeah yeah it's, it's very so wet, wet. yeah, yeah. it's a good one. Mm. um toiletries so toiletries make sure you bring you know your shampoo your, your soap your toothpaste lotion because it can get dry if you see my hands are pretty yeah. are pretty dry the skin between my fingers lotion off too yeah uh shaving cream gel yeah oh oh, shit, shit, shit. uh oh, yeah, that's they do thing. not sell razors or shaving cream here so and you brain, can't ship it here either mm, from amazon yeah like you can't order clippers or uh mm. razors and i hear you can't like order laptops too Mm-hmm. So like laptops, shaving, shaving shit, anything that's like can be used as a weapon. Mm-hmm. Uh, don't bring weapons. First off, like definitely do not bring weapons. You will get kicked out immediately. Yeah. Um, this is not a place for that. But bring shaving shit because they have nothing. Mm-hmm. Like I, I only brought two razors with me, and I went through that shit in a day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, I got two razors too. I'm making it last, but that shit dull as a yeah. bitch. I'm like, like I'm no, to feel like, like oh, it's starting to hurt. Mm-hmm. You know, when you, it's starting to hurt when you fucking shave. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I was always told like, yeah, you gotta throw away your razor the first time you after you use it. So oh, really? that's I got Aries. I, I use it like twenty times before I throw it away. I re- no, I can't do that. I have sensitive bad skin. Oh, I, I use mm-hmm. the sensitive shaving cream. Uh, what? 
What, Sensodyne. What, Sensodyne? I, I thought they were all the same. I just kind of... I'll try well, that. It's like the 99 cents one that you just like... <laughs> that. And yeah, that's like what the, I do. Yeah. This is a low down one. It's, like it, it, it's rough on the edges. Yeah. I got sensitive skin. Mm-hmm. Also, bouncing off the laptop, bring a TV, a small TV if you have, so you can fit in your stuff, and bring like a console. Like if you have an Xbox, a PS4, something to play games on or something, you can, it's, you can play that. And if even if you just bring a TV, if you don't play games, there's cable with like 50 channels. Oh, yeah. Every so room has sure, cable. Make, and I never They just updated that. that. They just like yeah. did that recently. They did not tell me. And I was yeah. kind of mad about that. I would have bought a TV. Yeah. <laughs> bring a small TV, you know, something you can fit in your case or something, you know, bring in your carry on. And then keep yourself entertained because, you know, there'll be like times after work where you have downtime and you really got nothing to do, you know what I mean? So watch TV, fucking play some games, you know? If you're coming during salmon season, that's not going to be an issue most years. Yeah. But um, if you're coming, like, in between seasons, like we did, you're going to have, like, just days off. And, yeah. Like, it's going to be random. Like, some days you're going to work for, like, eight hours. Some days you're going to work for 18 hours. Some days yeah. you're not going to work at all. That, that's what he like, says. In Sabbath season, sometimes they work 16, 18 hours nonstop. Mm-hmm. Right now, it's, like, 12 hours most days and a couple of days off here and there, depending on where you work. There's some places that's, like... 24 7 yeah like, like maintenance 24 7 kitchen every day kitchen 24 yeah. 7 like you know they, they always they always got shit to do you yeah know? and like those jobs are also the hardest to get so like when you come here you have to start on the floor you have to start in the fish, fish house no, ma- no matter what uh but if you have previous experiences like me i got lucky one weekend i applied for a machinist slash mechanic slash construction worker and i have previous experience in hawaii I was able to get in this gig, and it's a pretty good gig. Yeah. So but if like, you have previous experience in kitchen, maintenance like that, bring that with you and let them know. Be like, hey. But don't expect to get into don't it. Don't expect. It's, it's kind of hard to get in. Everyone wants those jobs. Yeah, it's pretty so, hard to get in. So, mm-hmm. But it, it's an option. It's a possibility. Yeah. So. Uh, there's also a catch to that, though, too, because like once you get into that, they're going to say, uh, if you get this job, you have to stay here for a year. Mm-hmm. Like, that's what... Um, they told me when I applied for the kitchen position mm-hmm. and I'm not here for the money. So right. I'm just like, yeah, if I can avoid eating my fucking hands cold every day, yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah, for sure. But, um, I didn't get the job, unfortunately. Yeah. Don't be discouraged guys. Yeah. You know? don't, yeah. Like think about this. You came here for a season. You're, you're going to make money. You, you, you know what I mean? That's the real motivation. You should be like, Hey, I'm coming here to get money. And I want to tell them how much you made. Oh yeah, like so your first, it's uh, real paycheck. It's been a month. On my first real paycheck, I got like twenty five hundred. So that was working twelve hour shifts, seven days a week. So um, so far I've made like four grand in like a month. And the first half was a little slow because I was working fish processing, not as much hours. Yeah. And then so total, I made about four, forty five hundred mm-hmm. total. Anyway, I, I yeah. I've been working fish processing the whole time. First paycheck, I only got, I want to say, uh, six hundred dollars. But that's only because I worked like a day and a half. Second paycheck, I got a thousand dollars because there were no fish. And then my first real paycheck, I got two thousand five hundred. Nice. And yeah. Nice. So I made like four thousand, four thousand six hundred. Yeah. That really month. Like, yeah. So in like, if you work full time, you get those hours, you can make potentially like at least like five grand. If you're working twelve hour shifts, ten hour shifts, five grand a month. And if you're working upwards of 16, 18, I heard you can make closer to 10 grand. So, I mean, you do the math, man. I mean, you come here three months, you're making 7,500 average. You can make go home with like 20 stacks. If, you know, if you're real smart with your money, you save, you know. Yeah, and here's a little tip. Like, it sounds very simple, but um, if you don't know David Goggins, look him up. But his mentality is we live in a generations with such weaklings and pussies that it's easy to be great because all you have to do is not quit and you can achieve anything yeah if you have that mentality while you're here um everyone's going to love you and you're going to get all the best jobs and that's exactly what i've been doing mm-hmm. like i hate doing gutting line but if they put me on gunning line i'm going to fucking do that for a day and i'm going to try my ass never to get put on that uh then again mm-hmm. and they know i hate it they know I hate being gutting fish and pulling all the organs out, um, but if they need me there, I'm going to. They're going to ask me because they know I'm going to finish a job, and because I do that, 
they gave me good jobs where all I do is I'm working by myself and I'm pushing like heavy racks in all day long to a freezer. And it's, it's super, super simple. Mm -hmm. It keeps me busy. It helps the day go by faster. I have access <clears throat> to a clock. You do not have a clock when you're working on the, <laughs> the uh, yeah. you don't have a clock when you're on the floor. Bring a but, watch too. Yeah. That's probably another thing to bring. A watch. I don't do a watch. What I do is uh, I plan. Like, I just plan. I don't know how to explain it. You plan for your next break? Yeah, pretty much. I, I just know who comes by. It's like. Bring, just bring a watch. That's yeah. like, <laughs> so like, watch. adding on That's what like, he said is, uh, yeah, work hard. Like work hard. Mm -hmm. Hard work goes notice. You know what I mean? The, yeah. If you work hard, you put in the work. You have other opportunities to it try feels different like, positions, and they it feels like that. they don't notice because like they move you around, but they they notice. Yeah, they take notice if you work hard. Um, because yeah. now whatever wherever I go, whatever department they want me in, that department always wants me to stay there, mm -hmm. and. But like I like two departments. I like I love Pollock because Pollock is fucking easy and not many people can do it. And I love the furniture department because I'm just by myself and I can do my own thing. Mm -hmm. Good. Yeah. Okay. Um. What else we got? We got anything else? Things to bring. Um, yeah, bring candles and shit to make your room smell nice. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> bring bring some glade. You know, bring a bottle of gates. You want it? Uh, Bring lights. If you want to get fancy, bring like LED lights. You can set it up in your room, make it look nice. Um, I don't know why. Yeah. Bring a laptop. You know, if you do have a laptop, he said that already, but. Yeah, I have a list. I just wasn't looking. At yeah, let's go check out this. We, we was going off the dome, you know, but we're going to get real information on with you guys. You know, yeah. we're here to, we're here to help your guys' experience be better. And, you know, you come prepared because if you don't fail to prepare, it's preparing to fail. So make sure you come prepared and you get the shit that... Oh, GCI you film. We did not talk about the GCI oh, film. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go ahead. So a GCI is a... I think it's just like a phone service in Alaska. Mm -hmm. um, you can buy it here for... You can buy a GCI SIM card for $10 here, $10 or $11. Uh, but what you really need that really makes a difference is an unlock phone, mm -hmm. an unlock network phone. So they have them here, but... They cost six hundred dollars. It's going to be like a, a really old iPhone. So I recommend just like going, just going um, to Walmart or something, and you know, <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I'm looking on my phone right now. No, my no. phone is used up, used to stand up his yeah. phone. Um, okay. Well, I pretty much cover everything on my list. Yeah, but a juicy iPhone, it has no Wi-Fi. It's just texting and calling. Okay. Yeah, so don't like get a fancy phone. Just like buy a, a, a flip phone from Walmart for like 20 bucks. Mm -hmm. Put that tucker in it, and you're going to be able to call home and text home uh, without, you know, spending like a shitload of money on Wi Fi. Uh, oh, yeah, banking information. You forgot about oh, that. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Um, yeah. When you come here, there's no Wi Fi here, first off. Like the Wi Fi here sucks. So they're going to lose all the information you had when you fill that shit out. So bring yeah. two forms of ID, bring your banking bring information, you. everything you filled out on those papers. With you. Bring that with you. And bring the physical mm. form of your identification. Yeah. Mm. You need two. So you need a social, you need an ID, a birth certificate, you know, one of the above. Passport is another one. Mm. As a matter of fact, don't even like, everything that they had you fill out online, print it out, and bring completely it. fooled. And yeah, bring and bring it. it. And like have it in your backpack so you can just hand it to her. So that was like that was that made me mad. <laughs> yeah, I was like, damn! I thought I filled yeah. out this shit. I, I had to dig and I had to get my social, you know, take yeah. a picture of it. And if you forgot yeah. it, if you forgot, if you forgot your banking information, I can't fucking talk now. If you forgot your banking information, don't worry because they have a, a prepaid card. Yeah, they can worst case scenario, they, they can yeah. give you a card and then you get paid on the card, so yeah. it'll be okay. It's just annoying though. But it's good to have it in your bank account if you're used to that. You know, you got direct yeah. deposit, whatnot. You know, it goes straight to there. Yeah. Uh, second thing, I'm a finance nerd, so I just want to point this out. Uh, when you're figuring out your paperwork too, what you should be doing while you're here, especially if you're young, if you're 18 through 25, like me, um, make a investment account. Like most mm -hmm. people in America use Fidelity or mm -hmm. Vanguard. Get one of those. Super super simple to make. Put 10 percent of your paycheck in it. Cause that's only going to be like $200 out of 2000. Mm -hmm. 
on a slow paycheck period. Like that's very slow. <laughs> or and like three hundred out of three thousand during a long pay period. Like you're here to make money, but if you're young, you need to save money. Like so you can retire. Because you know you can't do this for the rest of our life. Long term, man. Look long yeah. term. Like yeah. people don't talk about that. I feel like more people need to talk about retirement in the future. Investing, yeah. Indeed. Yeah. Oh, that's good, man. Yeah. Uh something that I uh, when they say bring two to three weeks of clothing, they actually mean that. So make sure you bring like sweatpants, pants, uh, sweaters, jackets, and then don't forget to bring like um, leisure clothes. So like when you're off the work, uh, there's one thing you can do is you can separate your clean clothes and your dirty, like your fishy clothes because it smells. And if you wash them together, it also it'll smell like fish. You will always smell like you fish. You all smell like fish. So have like a separate, like a few, like maybe a... Three, four days of leisure clothes. A Bring couple a laundry weeks. bag, too. Laundry bag. Bring an extra laundry bag because they give you one, but you, you can separate them. You can have one for the dirty, fishy clothes, one for the clean yeah. clothes. So, like, That's it's right. very important to have, like, work clothes and walking around clothes. Because you don't want to be like me and it's like... Everything yeah. fish. Like, <laughs> <laughs> I did not think about that. But like, yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, another thing to bring, though, is a back brace. Oh, that's yeah. another. They sell one over here at the store. They're yeah, but it's expensive. like sixty bucks. Yeah. Like. So yeah, another thing too. A lot of things are expensive here because it's all import. Yeah. So like another thing too is snacks. You know, if you uh, like, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say snacks. Like if you have someone at the outside who can send it to you, that'd yeah, be good. Definitely send do you that. like a package of snacks. But like you're gonna run through snacks quickly. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah, that's true. Mm-hmm. I ran through my snacks like the first week. Well, you gave them all away. <laughs> I gave them. Yeah. I'm a nice guy, so you <laughs> yeah. know. Plenty of Aloha, so I gave away. Did we already say wireless headphones? I think we yeah, did. Yeah, like Parvis. Yeah, yeah. This is 20 minutes, you know. We're, we're kind of rambling at this point, but, you know, we're just trying to give you some good information of stuff that we wish we knew before we came. So when we, you know what I mean? Like, if I was to come back here in our time, I'm bringing all this shit that we just talked about, you know what I mean? I'm coming prepared. Fucking, I'll be ready for the, the long haul, one seat, one whole yeah. year, you know what I mean? Uh, two more things I want to say. First off, bring washable masks. Because you have to wear a mask every yes, day. Yes, yeah. And those disposable masks. Those are good. You those, can get that one that covers your whole face, too, is a good one. Like, the one that's, yeah. like, I don't know what you call those. Like a sock. It's like a sock. Sock like mask. face sock. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That yeah. that one is good, too, because, you know, you can cover all your shit up. And it gets kind of mm-hmm. cold, too. It gets pretty cold, so. It gets so damn It's cold. like a, it's a good yeah. cover for your um, face. And uh, last thing, uh, you're not allowed to have face piercings or like jewelry in general on the floor yes so like if you can have a chain but it has to be tucked very tight and there's a good reason for that you can like fucking kill yourself you, yeah you can get caught in like mm-hmm. a moving there's moving parts and you that know, on shit machines. does not stop yeah and, and it there's not yeah it's mm-hmm. kind of dangerous yeah it's no oh, it's extremely dangerous yeah mm-hmm. it's not too bad though don't be scared like don't be scared you yeah. know what I mean? as long as you you know you, you follow the rules you do yeah, it if right you wear the you'll proper be fine PPE. you'll be fine yeah. yeah well like just don't try to be like Yo, I'm too cool for that. That's, yeah, yeah. That's not, this is not the place for that. Oh, so, this is, no, I'm not going to. No. Well, that, I'm not going to get into the story because it yeah. might be a. Too know, sad. Lawsuit. But, no, yeah. it might be like a lawsuit. Like, no, oh, yeah. long story short, fucking, some dude got some shit sprayed in his eye because he wasn't wearing glasses. And he's he's okay, but he, he couldn't see for a little bit. And then yeah, he washed it out. He washed it out. But, yeah. you know, make sure you use the proper PP always on any job, you know. Glasses, gloves, you know, make sure you make sure you're safe, man. Work safe. Work hard, be smart, work safe, you know. Yeah. Well, I that's everything. Yeah. So yeah, bring be sure to bring this guys because uh if you don't, it's just expensive here. Yeah. <laughs> it, it, if you're um if you're from here, you've been here, um don't feel free to comment anything that you think we missed. Yeah. That it might be like, hey, you know, maybe you should bring this or, you know, this is what I wish I brought. Mm-hmm. If you've been here before or you're here right now and watching this. So I want to give you a comment about that. I keep tracking my finances. I just want to give you all a quick rundown on the shit. Uh, let's see. Thirty dollars for water for, you know, one case of the bottle of water. OK, because you can't get a case. Yeah, because I forgot to bring my water bottle. OK, uh, 40 dollars for Wi-Fi. Mm-hmm. This that is your was, monthly budget. That was a week. Yeah. Oh yeah, this is my whole month. Okay. Oh, this is the month for May, so it's only been like seven days. Okay. Good. Yeah. Uh, Forty dollars for Wi-Fi. Let's see. I wanted to cook curry. Curry super cheap at home. It's only like twenty bucks at home. Yeah. It's forty bucks here. For fucking curry. 
Oh, to make it? Like, to make you can it, buy the yeah. ingredients. They have, the, they have yeah. like a shop where you can buy food and yeah, like the cookhouse. basic stuff. Yeah, there, there's like some stuff. That made me so mad. Like, I, I really <laughs> wanted some curry. <laughs> it's like $40 uh, for yeah. some curry. Ma, where am I? In fucking Japan right now? Yeah. See, I put $400 in the stocks. Uh, nice. Beer. Oh, my God. Beer is expensive. Uh, $144 for beer. Yeah, beer is pretty expensive. Two cases. But this guy makes it back. He's smart. He, he, <laughs> no, no, I'm uh, <laughs> uh, $144 for beer. Yeah, one, two, three. $144 for beer. Beer is fucking expensive beer. Yeah. Yeah. Um, ten, $11 for GCI. Yeah, whatever. Uh, <laughs> $14 for my Wi Fi. All right, so I forgot to say this. You can't have. You can't buy one Wi-Fi password and put it on two, two devices. So, like, if you have one for your phone, you can't put it with your laptop, too. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. So I only had a lock for that phone. Yeah. I had to buy more Wi-Fi. <laughs> Separately for, for your laptop and yeah. your phone. Hmm. And that, that was annoying. Um, $20 for a snack. Like, legit a snack. Just a few. A hmm. bag of chips and, like, a few pieces of candy. Hmm. Oh, man. And then uh, I ate through that in two days. I did it again, <laughs> and I spent thirty five dollars on food. So we're not joking. It's living here is fucking expensive. Budget. Make sure you yeah. budget and there's save no money. budgeting. You're not going to budget. Just like trying not to save spend money. Anything. Yeah, because yeah. there's free food and the free housing. You don't have to pay rent. Mm -hmm. So there's opportunity really to save a lot of money when you're here. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, I feel like you know we're rambling a lot at this point. It's about a twenty five minute mark. Yeah. So um, yeah, hit them with the outro. Yeah. See you guys. You gotta. Yeah, aloha. Aloha. Uh, I am hanging out with too many Hawaiians. I'm doing this now. <laughs> I did just a pinky. <laughs> aloha. All right.